Welcome back, back to the Holistic Oncology Strategy Review Series. This is for Patricia here in Texas. The question is, is it true cancer does not grow in an alkaline body? So let's get into that quickly. The short answer, half and half. Half a truth, half a lie. You did not expect that, did you? So let's go in on why do we say half a truth and half a lie. Now, we see so many things on the net, alkaline diets we see, make your body alkaline. It's, it's out there a lot. And if you're Googling solutions for cancer, they all say get your body alkaline. Now, in my previous video, I spoke about what's acid and what's alkaline. I'm just going to touch on that very quickly for those who did not see the previous video. Alkaline, the most alkaline you get is 14, which is, is drain cleaner. Then hydrochloric acid is zero. Your stomach should be a one and a half, for those that can remember the, the previous video. So one and a half is what the stomach should be. Now they say you need to have an alkaline body and let me to explain to you why it's a lie. It's not an alkaline body but alkaline blood. The blood is supposed to be 7.4. So let's look into that 7.4. So there you can see blood should be 7.4. Now we have got certain things as alkaline and certain things that are acidic. If you're getting uh, uh, reducing the acid in the stomach is going to become a problem and I'll explain to you why. So one and a half is the gastric acid. Our urine is going to be acidic. So if we are saying that we need to get everything alkaline, literally you will not live if that's the case. So let's just look, look at the blood itself. Blood should be between 7.35 and 7.45 with an average of 7.4. Now, look at this. 7.8, it becomes dangerous. Go over to 9, you'll die. That's how dangerous it is to be too much alkaline. If we see the blood becomes acidic, at 6, you're dead. Hence the fact that we have to keep it in this short range of 7.35 to 7.45 that's where you must keep it now if you're going to go over to the 7.8 and even higher guaranteed you're going to start getting cancers why because cancer itself is alkaline if you open a cancer cell it's alkaline so what's this got to do with the alkaline blood now what controls the alkaline, the pH of the blood? pH is that alkaline or acidic, okay? Potential hydrogen. A little technical, but we're not going to go into details with that. It's the lungs and the kidneys that control the blood pH. And the kidneys or the lungs are taking strain. What's going to happen? You're going to have acidic blood. So we have to look after that blood. Now, those that got pools, you know 7.4 is the perfect range. Perfect place to be able to have your pool. It will be clean all the time. Where if it, they, on a pool, it's a little bit wider, 7.2 to 7.6. Now, why am I talking about this? Because the pool itself, as soon as it gets, it gets acidic, is going to be an environment where pathogens can grow. So those env that environment where mosquitoes and pathogens can grow, you'll smell it, the bacteria growing. Now just imagine if you've got acidity in the blood, the environment is going to be conducive for more pathogens. And if you are having more pathogens in the blood, what's going to happen? Your immune system must work harder. If it's working so hard to, to kill those pathogens, do you think it's going to get enough manpower to go kill off cancers? No. Hence the fact that cancer grows 
because the immune system failed. So it's not going about cancer does not grow in the alkaline environment. It's your in the the cancer is already alkaline. It just says there's nothing to, to attack me. The immune system's busy because the blood is acidic. There's a lot of pathogens growing there, so go stay busy. I'm gonna grow happily where I am. Hence the fact we need to look after the kidneys and the lungs. In the comments, tell me whether you see the value in this or I need to go in slightly deeper and tell me who told you you need to have an alkaline body and what are you doing to get alkaline body, which means it was wrong. We need to just get the blood more alkaline. If we get that right, then we are going to free up the immune system. If you want a quick review of what you're doing, questions that you have, in the link, in the description below, you would be able to get the link and you can fill in your own request and I can then answer some of those questions that you have on your mind. For those that have got the cheap profiler, you, you could, when you record it, go look at your digestive enzymes because digestive enzymes, the, the more alkaline your stomach, the more damaged the kidneys are going to be. So for those that, that are drinking these alkaline powders and alkaline waters, all these type of things, you're taking away the stomach acid, which means the kidneys are going to take strain. So go, go look at that. Go look at your kidney functions. Go look at your lung functions. That's going to give us an indication whether we can get your, your, your um, lungs and your kidneys rectified. If you want to do any, any therapy on that, you go do the search for the quantum code on acidosis, kidney function, and, love, and then lung function. If you have not seen the previous video, if you can see to the left, that video is the real reason for getting cancer. Go, go check that out. And then the next one is Joe from New York. He says, my oncologist put me on iron tablets and now I've got constipation. I'd like to go a little bit deeper in how to get away from that constipation. And also the dangers of iron tablets. Make sure you go watch that video. Remember to do the subscribe, do the like, and also that notification to get more uh, of these good videos. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.